Hello. This is my um, this is my um, new trick entitled the double card locator. Um, most magicians will only be able to find uh, your card in the deck or do a little uh, technique like sometimes where you might be able to find like one or two cards or even a third. Um, this is mine entitled the double card locator. Um, it involves um, uh, some old stuff, personal stuff of my own creation. Um, and yeah, here let me even get started. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna give these cards a quick little uh, just not that much to. Just kind of give them a quick little shuffle here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fan the cards out, okay? We're going to take a random card out. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I'm actually looking away from the camera, but I'll bring it up close just so you guys can see it. And I'm now going to stick that on top of the deck, okay? So now we're just going to do that. We're just going to uh, give this guy a quick shuffle here inside the deck. And uh, you know what? Just to be safe, uh, we're going to cut through the deck and we're going to get you to um, take a look for another random card. Okay, so you've cut. Uh, that's your card now. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're just simply going to um, we're just simply gonna give uh, this guy a. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, simply uh, stick that card uh, back on top of the deck just for convenience. And you know what? Let's just to be safe. Let's just give these guys another shuffle. Um, a uh, a second shuffle shouldn't be too difficult. Just uh, do do do. Yep, there we go. Just gonna randomly shuffle these guys up. And now here's what's gonna happen. Um, like I said, I don't know where your cards are. They're in the deck somewhere, okay? But here's what we're gonna do. Uh, just to be safe, we're gonna give these guys a, um, we're just gonna give these guys a, a little um, go through. Just uh, hang on here. Sorry, oops. Having a slight glitch up here. Just, okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to take the uh, first card off the top of the deck, which is now the Two of Diamonds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that uh, down here on the table. And uh, now I'm going to do a another um, uh, shuffle. And uh, just uh, here we go. Just hang on. This is just going to give me a quick second. Just bear with me here. And there we go. Okay, the next card is now the um, Seven of Hearts. Uh, seven of Hearts, um, which I have no idea. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick that down on the table. Uh, and you can, here I'll bring the monitor down. You can see that this was the Two of Diamonds and the Seven of Hearts. Uh, at least I think that was what they were. Um, that was what I put down there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to locate your cards uh, inside the deck. Can you see them anywhere in there? Maybe? Check this out. Let's move these two. Remember, two of diamonds, seven of hearts in here. Check this out. I give a quick snap, and lo and behold, the second card that you picked, the three of hearts, and the eight of spades, the first card that you picked. And that's entitled the double card locator. It's my way of snapping the cards out into the uh, into the other directions, and uh, that's my trick. It involves a, a whole bunch of um, it involves a whole bunch of old stuff. Um, uh, you probably will have noticed my klutz cut was in there um, near the ending. I uh, my new my uh, my own personal new card cut uh, was in there as well. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is kind of a, a new ver this is a new trick of my own. Um, I've got a couple of new um, variations I'm working on, uh, and as soon as they're finished prototyping. I'll put them up here on YouTube for your enjoyment. Um, in the meantime, toodles and uh, keep wondering.